The Gem 2 ring cutter has been developed in response to a demand from emergency room staff for a single, hand-operated, independently powered ring cutting device capable of cutting through all types of metal ring-shaped objects quickly and safely. The following video demonstrates the versatility of the Gem 2, the cutting technique and the differing procedures to follow when confronted with very hard metals or expensively set dress rings. The gem is supplied with two types of cutting discs. Silicon carbide for cutting soft metals such as gold, copper and silver, and a diamond disc for cutting hard metals such as iron, steel and platinum. We can now select the cutting disc to be used. In this case, the silicon carbide disc for soft metal. The disc is placed in position and gently hand tightened. Using the supplied screwdriver, the screw is tightened to ensure that the disc is firmly in place. With the lock activated and fully charged batteries installed, the battery holder is inserted into the Gem 2 handpiece, taking care to line up the arrows on the battery holder with those on the handpiece. Cutting generates heat, and most metals are excellent conductors of heat. To draw the heat away from the skin when cutting, we apply a small amount of water-based gel onto the rings where we intend to cut through. Additional advantages of using the gel are that it makes the insertion of the steel guard under a ring easier and helps collect metal debris formed during the cutting process. The gem finger guard is made of thin, flexible, hollow ground steel, which allows for easy insertion under a ring. We are now ready to engage the gem too. After deactivating the lock, the ring cutter is placed on the guard with the cutting disc positioned on the ring surface. The disc guide ensures that the cutting disc is kept in a straight line as it cuts through the rings. The motor is activated and the cutter is moved backwards and forwards from one edge of the ring to the other. Don't try and assist the cutting process by pressing down hard or by pushing the cutter forcibly backwards and forwards. Move the cutting disc at an even pace, allowing the battery power to do the work for you. Cut through is identified by a sudden increase in the speed of the cutting disc. Having cut through the rings, the guard is removed and the rings are opened, then extracted with either the gem ring spreader or forceps. The guard should now be cleaned of gel and debris. The battery pack removed and returned to the case. Cutting rings of high tensile metals such as iron and steel requires two cuts in diagonally opposed positions on the ring. The first cut is made to a depth approximately half the thickness of the ring to remove the tension in it. The second cut can then be made all the way through the ring without the risk of the ring closing in on itself and trapping the cutting disc. The ring can then be opened with the gem ring spreader or forceps and removed. It is not uncommon for the cost of a dress ring setting or repair to exceed the combined value of the gemstones and precious metals used. To avoid distortion and damage to the setting, the ring should be cut at a location approximately 90 degrees to the setting. Gently opened with the gem ring spreader or forceps, and removed. The Gem 2 is powered by four AA size alkaline or rechargeable batteries. Make sure that all four batteries are close to full charge. It only takes one low charge battery out of the four to make the motor stall repeatedly during the cutting process, particularly if it is a thick or bulky ring. 
select the right disc for the job. Very hard metal, such as iron or steel, should always be cut with the diamond disc. Soft metal, such as gold or copper, should be cut with the silicon carbide disc. Certain metals and a hardness band between these two extremes may be cut with either type of cutting disc. Follow the recommended cutting technique and proceed at an even pace, allowing the power from the batteries to do the work for you. Do not force the cutting process. Remember that cutting generates heat. Always apply a liberal amount of water-based gel to the ring in the area where it is to be cut through. Always warn the patient in advance about the heat factor. If necessary, stop the cutting process and reapply gel. The heat absorbent properties of chilled gel are more effective than gel at room temperature. Keep in mind the information given regarding how to cut and remove high tensile metal rings and dress rings. Always remove the battery holder and batteries from the unit and return to its case. Clean the finger guard disc guide component of gel and debris after use. This video has shown you the unique versatility of the GEM2 ring cutting system, offering you a hand-operated, independently powered ring cutter capable of cutting through all types of metal ring-shaped objects quickly and safely.